As I'm 40 years old, I was born in Holland to a non-Jewish mother and a Jewish father. Uh, my parents went to a theology school, they learned about Buddha. And when they finished learning, they asked the teacher why they don't teach Judaism. And he told them that he don't know how to teach it. Uh, they began to ask other people. We made Aliyah to Israel. Uh, we converted. And today, my parents are living in Kuchav Shachar. It's a community health and health home here, also in this area. And they are the neighbors of my in-laws that made Aliyah for Morocco and Iran. Um, As, that's your husband you're talking yes. about? Yes. Okay. Um, we have five children. My eldest is 21. Uh, she married five months ago. We had very good ones at the wedding. <laughs> uh, then we have David. He is in the army in Givati. Uh, then we have Shachar, Yonatan Karmi. Karmi is my vineyard because he was born in the harvest. Today he is on vacation, but he is working in the vineyards. And the little one, Alel Smadar, she is five years old. And you guys have a vineyard? I'll just show your... We have a winery Named, sorry, Tura. Tura is the winery and also we have vineyards. And the little one is Alel Smadar. Smadar is the blooming of the vineyards. And Alel is to praise. And the reason is because she was born on Sunday after the parish of the Merglim. The spies to, told the people in the bad Bible. things about the, in the Bible. They uh, told the people bad things about the land of Israel. And a big part of what we're trying to do in our life and in the business is to praise Israel with our products. And because of that, her name is Alel Smada. Uh, from the Jewish side of my family, my grandmother survived the Holocaust. She was uh, 15. Same story like Anna Frank, but and better and because of that we are here. Same country, same age. And when I was 12, I was very uh, proud to get her diary. And when my oldest was 12, uh, she gave it to me. I was very proud to get it. And when I was, she was 12, I gave it to her. And together we went to Yad Vashem, the Museum of the Holocaust. And we put it there for the remembership of all the people in the world. So she, she also lived in Amsterdam, also hid during the war, in also Amsterdam, had a diary. Yes, By any so. chance, did she actually know Anne Frank? That would be even um, weirder. They were in Maccabi. To, uh, oh, they actually knew each other. She, but not personal. She knew okay, the name. She knew the name, yeah, in the, in the, in the community. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but from the Nandri side of my family, I had uh, relatives, including the mother of my mother, that helped the Nazis during the war. And we believe again that a big part of what we're doing today is the best Jewish answer we can give. And it's important to know that it seems to be very romantic to sit here, but it was not easy to get to this moment. And for years we had almost nothing to eat. Then three times we had explosions of terror in the vineyards, and thank God I was not injured. Actually, last week they burned the fields. In Palestinians burnt um, your fields? Mm -hmm. In what's the name of the uh... on Mount Grizim in the Grisim. Vineyards. Okay. And we believe that a big part again what we are trying to do is to to bond the people to the land to show them that it's not only what they know and hear in the news because usually that's not the truth. And that's the story of Tua. Hey guys, I'm here in Ramallah and I keep saying inappropriate things to Palestinians and Israelis and I don't know what to do. It's so true, please, he does ask me, I'm his translator. So please help me, subscribe and please donate to the project. Thanks a lot.